Hi guys, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain Adventure. What a beautiful spot this is. I'm just up in Moffat, just a quick overnighter, and this is Greymare's Tail Waterfall. This is a 60 meter valley drop waterfall, the largest in the Southern Uplands, and the fifth highest in Scotland, by all accounts. Uh, this is a glacial valley, it's absolutely stunning. And the plan is tonight, shoulder the heavy pack, we're going to follow this path right up on the top. There's a big lock up on the top called Loch Skeen, which filters down and feeds through to this beautiful waterfall. I'm going to find a pitch somewhere up there. Weather seems to be pretty good so far. Forecast seems to be very changeable. And I'm testing the Nightcat Ultra Light Trekking Pole for one very good reason. And I'll allude to that a little bit further on. But no more procrastinating. Get the heavy pack on. We're going to head up there. Fantastic. We haven't made hard work of that. It's actually very, very warm. As you can see, the sun's, uh, sun's out. It's about half past five now, uh, and I'm now the only one up here. I've got a place to myself, which is quite unusual, actually. Now, the thing is, just to know where to pitch. So I've got this little peninsula here, but as you can see, it's absolutely pitted, and it's soaking wet as well. It's very, very claggy, and it's tussocky as well. I might look to go on the other side. I'll see. All right, guys, I'm on the other side of the lock here. Uh, just trying to find a pitch, actually, where I was on that peninsula. Uh, there's a few other people started to come up. So maybe they've come up for the sunset. Plus, it was too wet and tussocky as well. So I'm on the other side of the lock now. And actually, it's the same over here. Um, it's just very, very squelchy. The views are fantastic, mind. As you can see, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just, I've found a little bit of a spot just over here. It's not perfect, but it's gonna save us doing a 45 minute hike over towards the back end, which at the mountain I think is called Loch Craigan Head. And it's just an absolute bog. I've been up past my ankles here in uh, mud and clots. Aye, I think I'm gonna head back over there. Yeah, this is the spot. It's um, it is still a bit tussocky and it is still a bit wet, but it's um, it's the best I've got. And actually, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the lock here, this is Loch Skeen. It's just like glass. It's absolutely lovely. And we've got white coom, um, just in the background here, and the sun's setting just over there. So we should get some pretty nice light. I'm going to pitch up. Believe it or not, this is the tent. Night cat, ultra light, one man, sorry, one person. Got to be correct, haven't you? Um, trek and pull tent, and that's it. You can see the size of it. It's only a little bit bigger than me big old bungle hand. So I'm going to wear, I'm going to pitch this up, uh, and this is the one that I'm going to take on the West Highland Way, I think, which I'm going to do in October when all the midge have gone. Uh, so this will be, um, I have used it a couple of times, but really not properly and not on location and places like this as well, and not in kind of undulating ground. Um, Weather forecast's a little bit changeable as well. I think we're in for some rain, maybe some wind a little bit later. So this should be a good test for this. But I were going to get this up and uh, up and running. And uh, I think I'll put my bottle of wine in the lock, keep it nice and cold. Just as I was pitch ready to get pitched up here, yeah, there was a guy, there was a guy in his last just over there on the peninsula, and he just stood staring at us for about 15 minutes. I thought, I thought to myself, oh, my body lads, the least you can do is come and give us a hand. <laughs> Never mind, they've gone. I think they were just dog walkers, maybe photographers trying to get some last light. Anyway, let's get this thing up. Oh, yeah. Here we 
route. Let's get this up. Incidentally, this night cat on the uh, on the buckle, three FUL gear. Just saying. <laughs> Basically, this is a Lan Shan one. So I've got my pegs in here. Yes, I have. Comes with pegs. Put them down there. Nice dry bag for keeping gear in, which is nice to see. And it's a um, inner and outer pitch. So let's just see if we can get ourselves into a nice position here. The idea being you peg out the bathtub first and then you peg out the fly sheet, put the pole in and, uh, and we're in business. Right, let's get it going. Well, that's, um, that's pretty easy. It's the first time I've put it up in a while. And once you've got the bathtub in place, and then you put the fly sheet clasping over, it's then just a case of just tensioning things up a little bit, which is what I'm gonna do now. Um, it didn't take long at all, uh, which is great. That one's actually quite tight. There we go, that's just tautened that up quite nicely. Same on that end. And actually what I'm doing as I'm going around and doing this, it's giving us more internal space and also dropping it a little bit closer to the ground so there's a little bit less deficit there for draft. But that's pretty taut. I've got two pegs left. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't need any space at the sides. Actually, I'll probably what I'll do is I'll put one at the back to give us a little bit more space there and one at the head end just to give us a few more inches. But this is a spacious bit of kit, this. Loving it. As you can see, that is rock solid. Great. It does need a little bit of tinkering. Just getting the torch so you've got, it gives you plenty of headroom. And actually what I've done is I've used one of the, the other trekking pole. The main trekking pole is for the upright here. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I've used the other one just to lift the head area. So I've got a little bit more space. But that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Massive vestibule as well, by the way. Right, let's get this thing loaded up. Okay. I've already got my uh, foil mat in. I've got the Flex Tail Tiny Pump X2, kindly given to us by Flex Tail. If anybody's after one, um, or indeed any Flex Tail product, this is the pump. Uh, I've also got the Flex Tail pillow. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I've got a 15% discount code. So if you want to purchase any of the Flex Tail products, use Flex Tail 15. I'll put the link in the uh, in the description. Follow my link and uh, you'll be able to get 15% discount if you want one. It's up to you guys. Uh, good kit though, cracking bit of kit. That seems to be my catchphrase at the minute, that cracking bit of kit. Right, we'll get this blown up, get this loaded up, and I shall bring it back when I'm sat just here, looking out over the beautiful lock with a glass of wine. See you in a bit. Oh. Cheers guys, doesn't get much better than this. Oh, fantastic. This has just been chilling. Black tower, fruity white. I'm not gonna dust the whole lot off. Famous last words. And I'm using my new decathlon mug, £3.99. Oh. Talk about prescription nature, this is absolutely stunning. Very little wind, 
I'm in a secluded little dip here. I'm still looking out over the mountains here. The sun's just dipping down, casting some nice colours. And now everybody's gone. I've got the place to myself. Absolutely privileged. Really good. And I have a couple of sips of this. I'll show you around. Well, there we go, we're set up. That's what I was showing you just before there. Putting that other trekking pole in there at an angle. And what that's doing is that's lifting that bit there, which has given us more headroom in there. Now, obviously, this is smaller than what I'm used to. I'm used to the nature hike, which is a two person tent. This is a one person tent, and this is only 900 grams. I went down to Decathlon. I've got a new little mat. I've also got a new frying pan. There's me trusty. You know how much that is. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> Excellent. And I've got this as well. This little steel cup with some measurements in as well. Absolutely class. Teat night. Chili con carne. 1.25. Jambalaya rice, that'd be good. And if that doesn't work, we've got a dehydrated this again from Decathlon, rice and chicken curry, plenty of water. But look at that, there's actually inside, you've got all that space there, all seam sealed. I've got it set actually at 130 centimetres. So I'll just move back so you can see, I'll try not to fall in the lock. That's not bad at all, is it? Hey, what a night, what a sunset. That was beautiful, I've just set a time lapse going. Uh, just going across the mountains there, fantastic. Not a breath of wind. Uh, the lock, lock skiing here is just like glasses, a couple of fish jumping. Uh, it's very tranquil. I've dusted nearly half. I've only really had two cups of that wine. It's lovely, like that black tower stuff. I'm not having any more, I've had a coffee. Uh, and that's really warmed us up. Uh, temperatures, I don't know, I'm guessing about six, seven degrees Celsius, something like that. It's just beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to use this 12 pound spoke, 12 pound spoke to get into the old, uh, this is like a stag chili con carne rip off. This was from B&M, one pound 25. I've got a sneaking suspicion when I chuck this into here, it's going to look a lot like dog food. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Oh, that's just, oh yeah. Now we're talking. I'm gonna get this heated up and uh, this will be lovely. I haven't actually really eaten anything today uh, at all. Uh, and I'm at the stage now, I think it's about, actually I'm not even quite sure, half past eight, quarter nine, something like that. Uh, I'm quite hungry. Oh, well, actually that's quite nice. Oh yeah. Not too spicy, which is just what I need. Get this heated up, stick the um, jambalaya rice in, and we're up and running. This will give you an idea. Got a breath of wind. Right, let's check out this new frying pan. Well, that's quite good. That's staying in there quite nicely. There's a bit of paper on the bottom, I can't get it off, so that's just going to have to burn off. Oh yeah, this is going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to this lake. What a game changer. I'm really good. I'm just going to use straight up pan. Hmm. Really nice, not too spicy either. Which is perfect for me at the minute. Great. So, the tent itself, I've had a good look around it actually, over the past couple of hours. Seam sealed, double stitched, 5,000 static head units, totally waterproof. It's got a good bathtub, the bathtub itself is 8,000 static head units. Easy to pitch, taut, 900, 900, like 15 grams or something. Handy to have the trekking pools anyway. Adjustable so you can get some ventilation um, And there looks to be plenty of room. I've, I have spent a couple of nights in it It's not like I haven't used it before, but it, 
it's been a while and uh, your memory just dips off a bit, doesn't it? So, what do you think, guys? Anybody done the West Highland Way? Used a similar tint to this? I think that's going to do the business. I think that's going to do us very, very well. I will test it out a few more times. And maybe it's in bad conditions as well. Because I think in October, the weather conditions are going to be quite iffy. <laughs> up, in the, up in the highlands. But, very good. Nearly as good. This is 12 pound spork. Mmm. <laughs> this is outstanding. Right, I'm gonna um I'm gonna polish this off. This is quite a big meal, this actually. I might not even eat it all. And if I don't, I shall dispose of it properly. Um anyway, I'm gonna finish this, and I think probably what I'll do is I'm just gonna soak up. The night, the night sky, maybe to get some stars in, hopefully. If not, no problem. I'm going to try and get myself an early night, nice and comfortable. And I'll see you in the morning. A coffee time. I hope I get a good night's sleep. See you in the morning, guys. Good night, God bless. Hmm. Fantastic. Well, morning, folks. Wow, what a fantastic sleep. Slept pretty much all night, apart from about five past three. And I think a duck must have either <laughs> come in hot, skittered off the lock and landed on my tent. What a clatter. It was about five past three. Uh, it's um, very atmospheric this morning. Good Lord. Very, very misty, and there's uh, there's not a there's not a breath of air, as it's been pretty much all night. The locks like glass. Yeah, very eerie, very eerie. Anyway, good night's sleep. Tent performed particularly well. There was some heavy rain through the night. Um, and you can see it's just beading up on the outside. Absolutely no bother at all. I held strong. N no wind, but a lot of a lot of rainfall. Absolutely class. I'm really impressed with it. I think this could be the one. This could be the one for the, the West Highland Way. Absolutely class. Yeah, really good. Um, I'm going to get a bit of breakfast on the go now. Uh, and certainly, first things first, I'm going to get a coffee. It's definitely coffee time. And then I'm going to just slowly pack away. Uh, it's, about, uh, it's about quarter past six in the morning now. Get myself packed up and have a slow walk down to the car. And I've got the rest of the day with my... Boy JT, to his 21st birthday next week. So we're going to start the celebrations early, so we're going to have a good one. Right then, folks. Well, sorry about that, folks. Catastrophic system failure there. The mic died. Uh, the phone ran out of battery and the power bank was dead as well. I got too carried away taking photographs. So it was such a beautiful night. Anyway, all that was really left to say was uh, I hope you enjoyed the video 
Um, I've got some details in the description just with regards to the tent and some of the details. I've got more to come and do stay tuned for the West Highland Way. That'll be later on in the year. There'll be a load of adventures before then. But as always, you know the importance of uh, you know getting away from the TV screens and uh, news and radio and Facebook and all the doom and gloom that's going on. Get out into some beautiful places and soak up some prescription nature. On that note, folks, I shall leave you to it. And I uh, look forward to catching up with you on the next Yonder Mountain Adventure. Bye for now.